Hello everybody, it's Barry again, back with some more Counter Spy. This is a second part of my playthrough. Um, I'm, I believe, up to part 9 of gameplay recorded, so I can't remember what happens in each episode. So, although I'm doing the commentary after the gameplay, it's almost going to be as if I'm doing it live, because I really honestly can't remember which level was which. And because it randomly generated, so that your experience is different every time you play through the game, I might see a level and it might look familiar, but I'll have no idea which part it's from. So, hopefully that'll make it a bit more entertaining for both of us. All of us. Both of us. There's me and one other person watching, and that's Lucy. No, sorry. <laughs> hopefully there's more than that, but... Who knows, we'll find out after the event. Okay, so, let's see where we're up to for part two. Oh, hopefully we're going to lower that death con on the right there for the uh, socialists. Did I use any formulas? But I didn't, did I? Nope. There's a formula that lowers the death con by one at the start of the mission, you see, so I was, uh, I was a little unsure as to whether I would have used it or not. I, did, I do remember saying that I'd try not to use too many of them, but uh, I also remember saying that I might end up using some, so... Yes, I wasn't quite sure whether I was going to or not. So here we go. I quite like the little descriptions you get at the start of each level, they're kind of... Um, they're kind of fitting with the theme and style that they've gone for in sort of mocking the whole Cold War spy genre and everything there. They come up with some quite good stuff. I do really I really like the the whole art style of this game. It's uh the, the music and the art and everything and the, even the way that the guy runs, you know, it all works together very well. That's not a bad, uh, not a bad shot for a pistol. Then the whole length of that corridor. Tax filings for the Minister of War with deductions. Okay then. I'm not quite sure why I'm sneaking through this, but because it's clearly an empty room. Uh -huh. An officer. Apparently I got stuck to that ladder there. I hate that when that happens in games. Just accidentally press up instead of sideways or whatever, you know. Sideways instead of up. And, you know, just stick to the damn ladder you've just climbed down. It's really irritating. Okay, you have to bear in mind that the last couple of levels I've just played, I, I, I don't, all I remember about them is that I did really badly. So right now, I'm looking at that shooting just there and I'm like, who is this guy? Who played this for me? Because I, I can't really believe it was actually me playing really badly this evening. But that's alright, because you know, you'll get to see that eventually, and then you can have a good laugh at it. Military wish list of demands in the event of defeat. Well, this level's going pretty well so far. I mean, admittedly, it's only part two, so, you know. I guess it should be going fairly well at this point. On the easiest setting as well, but, you know. Like I said, I've been playing really badly tonight, so I'm not taking anything for granted. It's peppering the wall in the background there. Unfortunately, the, they didn't notice. Sort of been spotted a couple of times. I mean, there there is a trophy, or a, for a, getting through a level without being spotted by the enemy. So I have been spotted. So that would have, you know, cancelled that. But I haven't really come under attack. I've, I've done all right. 
I've not gone too badly. Did I just not see that camera there? Or did I see it and maneuver masterfully around it? Hmm. I shall leave you to decide, dear viewers. As I've said before, you can't beat a good boom. Been watching a lot of. Oh, what's it? Fatality of the thing. Feasibility of packing water. Right um. Bombs into the rocket. I just better finish that off, you know. I've uh, been watching a lot of Mythbusters lately with Lucy, as I'm sure she's made evidently clear in one of her videos or more. Um, I think something's caught on from there about you can't have an episode without a big explosion now, because apparently I'm like really. Seem to really want explosions on this game now. Which is considering it's a sort of spy game, is <laughs> you would have thought explosions weren't the best thing to be having, but there you go. I I don't like these open areas that you get towards the end of levels. I really struggle with them. No, well, I either really struggle with them or they go insanely well, it varies. Oh, it's this level. Okay, so, what happened there? The reason that officer didn't surrender? You have to get rid of all of the other soldiers in the area before the officer will actually surrender. And I haven't played this in a long time, so I forgot about that when I first came through here. See, I had to finish off the guy in the background there before he would surrender. When I first came through, I completely forgot. So I was standing there, all casual, like, yeah, he'll surrender, he'll surrender. And all this, as you saw, he didn't, he killed me. So, yeah, that's what happened there. It's not like that makes me sound any better or anything, I'm just explaining, you know. I wasn't completely stupid, I was just very forgetful. There's a fine line between the two, I know, but there we go. That must be an easy kill. And there we go, easy kill. Well, there you go, we got through it. Should be DEFCON 5, but I forgot that you have to clear the area before the officers actually surrender to you, so... I missed the trick there. But DEFCON 4, that's not too bad. Uh, no spoilers, but I know what it's at at the moment. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, that's part 2 finished. Um, went pretty well. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, we'll see how part 3 goes next time you come back and... And watch that with us. So I hope you enjoyed it all. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you if you so wish. And we'll speak to you again soon. Okay, take care.